So 3.13 is exact values of trig functions, which we've already done. This time it's just in radians instead of degrees. So we do have to draw the angle and then find the exact value. Sine of pi over two, so that's half of a pi or half of a semicircle, because semicircle is pi, would be here. So this is one of those where it's just knowing the ordered pair of this point, which that we said this radius is always one, so this is the point zero, one, and sine is always the y value, so sine of pi over two would equal one. Number two is cosine of three halves of pi. So that's one semicircle and half of another. And so this ordered pair is zero, negative one, and we want cosine, which is the x value, so that would be zero. Tangent of zero, so that would be our point is just here. That is the point one, zero. Y divided by x would be zero over one, which is zero. Again, we could think of tangent being the slope of that horizontal line, which is zero. And then number three is tangent of negative pi over two. So negative half a pi would be going this way. So negative half a semicircle would be here. And that ordered pair is zero, negative one. So negative one divided by zero can't happen. That is undefined because vertical lines have undefined slope. Number five is cosine of negative one fourth of a pi. So one fourth of a pi would be here. That would be 45 degrees. And remember, if you're never sure, or if you're not ever sure, you can simply think, well, pi is 180 degrees. Just replace that in. So 180 divided by four gets you 45. So it's a negative 45 degree here. That makes our triangle be here. Remember that our 45s mean that these legs are the same. And I'm hoping you remember that that is really, I'll make an ordered pair, but these are really square root of two over two. And then this would be a negative because it goes down for the y value, but they only want the x, which is the adjacent leg to this angle. So that'd be square root of two over two. And then last one is five pi over three, it's five thirds of pi. I'll probably just go ahead and put 180 degrees in for pi. So five times 180 divided by three, or you could think a third of 180 is 60, five sixties would be 300. Is what that is, 300 degrees would be here. That's our 60 degree reference angle that we're creating. Okay, and then, so this would be our shorter leg, the one half, longer leg is square root of three over two. Tangent is y divided by x. And really when you have this, the denominators can cancel out because two divided by two, it's really radical three. But it would be negative because we're having a negative y divided by a positive x. You could also show that you're multiplying by the reciprocal and you will see that the twos cancel out as well. So if you're ever stuck on the radians, just plug 180 in for pi, that'll get the degrees and then you do exactly as we've done before.